The next tool we're going to look at that Google offers with regards to search queries is a, a relatively new tool that they brought out called Insights for Search. Now, within you can again just go to Google, type in Insights for Search, and it will take you to the relevant portal. Or in this case, within your AdWords account, where you would go is into Reporting and Tools, and you would click on More Tools, and it would bring you up to this page. And if we actually scroll down, there you see it, insights for search, new, compare search volume patterns across specific regions, categories, and time frames, etc. So what we'll do, we'll click on that, and it'll probably open up a new window. So we'll just open that up. Now, here's the amazing thing what this tool does. It's really sort of like an extension to Google Trends. And we have, you know, categories. We can narrow data to specific areas and categories. Seasonal flow, geographic distribution, and properties which include mainly sort of search patterns uh, within the Google, within the Google uh, database. Now, to get the best out of this is, you know, there's so many different things that you can do. Now, we'll we'll stick to the stop smoking um, term that we used earlier, and we'll put that in. And what we want to do now is decide ultimately, you know, where are we targeting this? Are we looking for something for a pay-per-click campaign, or are we looking to add data to a specific WordPress website that we have to target a specific term. Um, and we have a choice. So we can go basically web search, image search, news, or product search, or we want it for web search. We can go to the world and see what this pattern is. Or alternatively, we can target a specific country. Now, if, if we look at the United States, it will offer us the chance as well if we want to to break this down into one for example regions so we could go for example to let's say Georgia and we could also break it down to the search pattern to one of the main towns or cities so we could go to Atlanta and we have the choice as well to choose well what's the pattern for literally as, as little as the last seven days or we can choose a particular year so for this for this um, uh, tutorial, what we'll do, we'll, we'll leave it at default to 2000 to present because I want you to see exactly what it offers. And we can select specific categories. For this case, again, we'll actually target, let's say, the health category for this one here. And what we'll do, we'll actually come out of here and we'll target it for all of the United States. Sorry, yeah, all the United States. And then we'll click search. Now here's what it's going to return to us. If you look, first of all, here we're going to, we're going to have um, a graph from 2004 to the end of 2010, as we know, 2011 has obviously just started. Now you can see the search patterns here. 2004 was pretty steady. 2005, bit of a peak here. It's interesting, isn't it? You see the peak for stop smoking. It's always at the beginning. Of each year like we saw before in the AdWords keyword tool always in January it's peaking people but look at this look how it sort of waned since the end end of 2006 the search volume obviously either people have already quit or they just don't want to quit anymore and they've just resigned themselves to keep on smoking but look how it's look how it's dropped now here's where the sort of the good things happen within this um, particular tool. Let's just scroll down a bit here. Now, it it gives us what's called regional interest, which means Kentucky, Florida, Oklahoma, West Virginia, Tennessee, etc. These are the top 10 states in the United States that, um, you know, a, the search volume for stop smoking is at, the, at its highest interest. So, of course, if you're doing a pay-per-click campaign, you could literally just target it to the top three or four where the search volumes are the highest in Kentucky, Florida, Oklahoma, and West Virginia, and just tell Google that you only want to show your ads in those states because you know that's where the, where the majority of the search volume is. Um, this is the nature of basically how it, you know, how it happens. So if we, for example, clicked or even clicked on Florida here, what would happen is it will return the same sort of data uh, with the graph, but here's look what happens here. It breaks it down into the top three cities in Florida that actually 
um, have the highest volume for, for stop smoking. And of course, you know, this is, you can put any term in here, whatever is relative to your, to your product or service. But from a geo-targeting factor, this is amazingly great because, you know, you could set up PPC campaigns on your sites that you're telling Google, I only want to show my ads in people in Tampa, or Orlando, or Miami, or whatever state, the top three cities in any state that's showing the highest volume. So if we sort of actually um, sort of uh, uh, go back here for a second... Let's just go back a little bit. On top of that, here's the really cool thing. It's given us the top search queries. Obviously, quit smoking, stop smoking laser, help stop smoking. Pretty much a lot of the stuff that we saw already in the um, Google AdWords keyword tool. But here's the thing that really is cool. Rising searches. These are the terms now that are on the move. And they're stating the increase in search volume you know, uh, over that period. Now, as you can see here, all these things have increased dramatically, 350% increase. So these are the terms you want to jump on because when you're using this tool, you know, on a regular basis in any particular market, you can pick out certain terms which nobody else is really targeting yet. yet and you know the increase in search volume is going to be there. And something may just come along completely out the blue and you can just jump on it and you can get ahead of the competition on it. So I highly recommend this um, insights for search because the data that it actually gives you is, you know, is amazing. Uh, and, you know, depending whether you're using PPC or whether you're strictly using it for keyword research to add content, etc. You know, again, I highly recommend this because ultimately, no matter what you're doing online, it's always so important to do the research. Um, and if, if you just find one thing that gives you the edge against your competition, then you know what? That's going to give you more traffic and more sales. So guys, that's insights for search, and I highly recommend that you use it.